Hey guys, so a couple weeks ago I posted a college decisions reactions video and I got a lot of requests to share my stats and extracurriculars, um, so I'll do that today. So this will include my test scores, my grades and classes, and just like clubs and extracurriculars that I did throughout high school. Um, but before I get started, I just want to have some disclaimers. So first, this video is not meant to make anybody feel bad in any way. Um, I know that I used to watch a lot of these videos. It's so easy to compare yourself to people in the video. Um, you look at their grades and test scores and you'll sort of feel like you have to have the same thing as them. Um, but one thing to remember is that everyone's journey is so different. Um, everyone has different backgrounds. They grew up in different places with different opportunities. And I'm fortunate to have a lot of opportunities in my life um, that I'm really grateful for. And I know that people don't necessarily have the same access to all of these things that I did or that people in my own community did. And colleges are very receptive to that. Um, if you don't have, you know, AP, IB program at your school, um, there are other ways to challenge yourself. And it doesn't mean that I don't have an AP class, I don't have an IB class, you know, I can't get into this certain school. Um, schools just really wanna see um, you challenge yourself and you want yourself to grow. I'll be sharing that and all of the things that I put on my application. So I have a lot of time on my hands now um, and I'm hoping to continue creating college videos, like college application advice, um, reading essays, sharing you know my own experiences because I know that the college application process is so stressful and especially the juniors now who don't have access to like their counselors or their classes or their teachers um, it's really hard so I'm hoping that I can sort of create videos and use my own experiences to give advice to people who um, may be struggling with this process because I know it's so stressful comment down below if there's anything you want to see it's just anything that you think I can help with because I really want to be a resource for people who may be struggling because I know that it's hard for you guys and I want to make things easier so first of all I have my test scores so I took the ACT um, I got a 36 on my composite score with 36 on English 36 on science, 36 on grammar, and then a 35 on math. But um, the way the grading works is that it makes like the average of the four scores. So my composite was a 36 and my essay was an eight out of 12, which is not that good. But um, honestly, SAT and ACT essays, they don't necessarily carry that much weight, especially because your college applications will come with essays. You're gonna be writing personal statements. So your essay score is sort of just like a baseline as long as you don't like fail, fail, um, it will be fine. And then for SAT subject tests, I took math two and I got an 800 on that. And then I took physics and I also got an 800 on that. And I have my AP scores now. So um, I'll go in order on the test that I took um, in my freshman year. I self-study Chinese language and culture. I got a five on that. Um, self-study, so I like challenged the exam. I didn't take a class. I like studied it outside of school. Um, in my sophomore year, I took AP European History, AP Calculus BC, and AP Computer Science A. I got a five on Euro and BC, and a five subscore on AB, and I got a four on Computer Science A. Um, in my junior year, I took AP US History, AP Statistics, AP Physics 1, English Language and Composition, and Chemistry, and I got a 5 on all of those. And um, the award that I got was National AP Scholar, which is like if you take a certain amount of AP tests um, with a certain average, you get that distinction. So I put that on, I think I put that on my Common App for one of my awards, like distinctions, but if you don't have it honestly i wouldn't worry too much about it now i'm going to talk about my classes so like my grades and my classes that i took throughout high school um so first i want to say that my school has eight periods so that's like a little bit more than the traditional school which has six to seven periods um and our classes are semester schedule so most of the classes are first semester and second semester but there was one class that i took in my freshman year that was first semester and then second semester like separately um and i did get a's throughout high school so i won't be saying my grades i'll just be listing my classes and um, i won't be distinguishing between a minus a and a plus because um, those were all weighted equally at my school so um i'll list my classes oh and also um at my school you sort of don't really have that much flexibility taking classes freshman sophomore year um you 
have like a predetermined like schedule um and you can like choose like what electives you want what like pathways you want but most of it is predetermined so i didn't have that much flexibility until junior year um so in my freshman year i took english one honors spanish two um, i had this class that was first semester health and then second semester bst so business systems and technology um and then i had pre-calc honors orchestra pe biology honors and engineering so for engineering my school has pathways so career pathways you can choose one and it goes throughout high school for three levels um, and you start in your freshman year so there's engineering biomed computer science um there's one more oh business so you can choose which one you want and i chose engineering and that was like the engineering intro class in my freshman year um for orchestra there's like band and choir and all those other options i chose orchestra and i stuck with that throughout high school and for my math class i took pre-calc in my freshman year but that was sort of untraditional um i had been on the honors track in my seventh and eighth grade um, so when I got to high school, I self-studied over the summer before freshman year. I self-studied Math 4-5, which was the level before pre-calc. So I was sort of like two years ahead, but it wasn't really traditional at my school. Um, I sort of had to like get special permission from the principal to do that. But yeah, so math was sort of my thing throughout high school. So that's why I like self-studied it. Um, and then for my sophomore year, I took English 2 honors, Spanish 3, AP European History, AP Calculus BC, Orchestra, PE, uh, Principles of Engineering, which was the second level in the engineering class, and then um, Chemistry Honors. And that was sort of pretty traditional between Pre-Calc and Calculus BC though, so between my freshman and my sophomore years, I did jump AP Calculus B AB, which is pretty traditional, like people usually jump from Pre-Calc to BC, um, so yeah. And then for my junior year, I took AP English Language and Composition, um, AP Statistics, Orchestra, AP Physics 1, AP Chemistry, um, Engineering, Design and Development, which was the third and final class in the Engineering Pathway. And did I say Orchestra already? I think I said Orchestra already. And currently in my senior year, I'm taking um, AP Psychology, and then I have a class that's first semester Economics Honors and second semester AP American Government. Um, I'm taking AP Physics 2, Orchestra, Online AP English Literature, and I'm taking a class at my local community college. Uh, so first semester, I took Multivariable Calculus, and currently I'm taking linear algebra and i forgot to mention before i also took a summer college class in between my my sophomore to junior year i took um a cisco cybersecurity class uh dual enrollment so it was like a summer program that a lot of students at my class at my school did um i didn't like it too much so i didn't continue with it but that was my first college class and then my second and third were the two maths that i did um this year so i'm going to be talking about my extracurriculars next so the thing with my extracurriculars is i did a lot of them throughout high school like i explored a lot of them so, like i actually got leadership positions in quite a few clubs that i eventually had to drop because i didn't have time for all of that stuff and i wanted to focus on what really meant the most to me so i will be sharing the clubs activities that i did um that put on my comment application so, um first thing i did was i was a paid research intern with the clark scholars program um, I put that first because I feel like it was one of my biggest accomplishments. Um, it was sort of a really great experience for me and it really directed like what I want to do in college and what I want to study. This is a summer research program at Texas Tech University. Um, you get paired with a professor and you're able to do research with them for seven weeks and you get paid, which is really cool. So I did um, computational math research. So it was like statistics plus computer science. Um, and I worked with my professor and by the end of the summer, we were able to get our project published with Sizer Emerging Research, which is like a Texas Tech um, sort of like publication thing. And then we're working on a manuscript for publication with um, the Society of Industrial and Applied Mathematics Research Program. So the second thing I did was Chinese cultural dance. 
Um, dance has been a huge part of my life since I was like five years old. I study a lot of classical and ethnic dance style. We actually do get invited to a lot of performances across Southern California um, throughout the year, like cultural exchanges, Chinese New Year celebrations. We get a lot of like performances during February time. Uh, and we also compete. I was the first place overall soloist for my um, age division. So that was like the biggest award that I got in dance. So I put that in my main description. So for the third thing, I talked about how I am a director for the All Girls Math Tournament. We have like locations all around the country and in other countries as well. Um, I was able to organize girl empowerment math competitions. That was pretty big part of my high school experience, like event planning for the first time. Um, it's it's kind of scary. Like for me, I started in my sophomore year, so sophomore, junior, senior year, and it was like intimidating to plan a full-on event by myself but that was really something that helped me to grow. Um, and I talked about it in quite a few of my essays, um, being able to really like genuinely give back to my community and like interact with people, um, with girls whose shoes I was once in and that was really meaningful to me. Um, fourth activity is I was the president of my school's math club. So I um, helped organize meetings every week and we do like STEM weeks, after school fundraisers, um, like tutoring things like that um, and we compete so we compete locally and we do like AMC other competitions things like that and that was my sophomore junior senior year fifth activity is I am the vice president of a current nonprofit called Young Engineers in Action um, we're basically a stem focused organization and we want to spread um, stem to elementary school children in our area and hopefully even beyond that um, we're like entirely student run we had like newsletters we have like weekly stem classes where I also volunteered at we had summer camps we do stem nights with um, students from our like local elementary schools and just a lot of working with kids which I personally really love sixth thing that I did was I was an intern for a local company or not really local actually it was like a national company um, I was a mechanical engineering intern and I worked on worked on government sanctioned projects so it was pretty intense um, I can't share like exact details but basically it was me 3d modeling parts in inventor AutoCAD anvil modeling parts you know that's pretty much as much as we can say I had to actually sign a lot of paperwork for that job so um, it was like this big mound of like security like clearance stuff and I had to like get drug tested and like we had an ID and we had to like give our passport. So it was intense, but it was a mechanical engineering job, which I really liked and it was really fun. My seventh activity is I was a paid dancer in the musical. So I was actually like, this was like my first job. I was a dancer slash like actor kind of, I had acting roles, um, but I was actually able to work with like professional choreographers and um, professional singers I didn't sing but like we were like on stage together and I was in like three numbers um, so it was like an actual professional thing and they needed like like Asian dancers so I auditioned and I was able to get the role um, and it was really cool so we performed in um, Hollywood the El Portal theater and we were like sold out and it was really cool my eighth activity I was the president and founder of the Chinese culture club at my high school I wanted to start my own Chinese culture club especially because my culture is such a huge part of my life through Chinese dance so um, we basically organized um, an annual Lunar New Year Spirit Week with other Asian clubs on campus that was like the first time we did that I also was able to choreograph a Chinese fan dance for our school's international show which also performs in our school's like community fair my ninth my ninth activity was I was a cast member for an AFI film so it was a thesis film I was in the film as a dancer oh, so they got a lot of dancers from our studio and another big Chinese dance studio in the area and we learned dances for like weeks and then also we filmed uh, various sets in Los Angeles so that was really cool for me because it was like on camera and like live and like we had to get our hair and makeup done and our costumes and it was just really cool our film was actually showcased at the AFI premiere in Hollywood and like that was like insane um, I was able to see myself on the screen and it was like yeah I wasn't like the main character or anything but it was like a pretty big time commitment and it was one of my like 
favorite moments of high school so I had to include it on my list and finally I play viola in my school's symphony orchestra and chamber strings so our school's orchestra is actually like pretty strong um, we like practice during class time but we also have practices outside of school um, and we do this like Southern California band and orchestra association we do like this festival um, competing with like other high school bands and orchestras and every year we get an anonymous superior rating um, between our two groups we've been invited to perform at Knott's Berry Farm at Disneyland um, Sierra Trump Center for the Arts and we also do um, like collaborations with the choir at our school so um, and also like just inter-district performances. I'm not the best player like in any way but I personally find it really cool because like I started learning the instrument in eighth grade um, with the orchestra and it was just like being able to be surrounded by so many people who are so good at their instrument and like just hearing what we were able to produce it meant a lot to me so that was one of the reasons why I continued it throughout high school because it was just like insane um, to be like part of this group that you know made music really cool so I've actually like I, I'm definitely more of a dancer than a musician but being able to perform um, and just do a lot of really cool music is something that I'm really fortunate of and really fortunate to have a strong orchestra at my school that is all of my 10 activities um, on the common application um, one quick note is that my MIT application and my UC application were very different from my common application because they're separate portals so if you want to see that um, they're very different the MIT application asks for far fewer activities so you have to like choose which ones are most important to you and the UC application asks for like 25 or 20 uh, um, activities and if you want me to read those I most definitely can um, and if you have any other questions or requests for things that I can help you guys out with or create new videos for um, please like comment them or like message me I am absolutely willing to help so stay tuned for hopefully a lot more college related videos um, I genuinely hope this was helpful for you and that you got something out of watching this video and I hope you have a good day bye